that was Graham Kendrick with As We Gather. Here on your radio station, AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, our scripture for today is a great scripture. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What a scripture. It's basically the gospel in a nutshell. Here we have, first of all, the discussion of God loving us. And how did he love us so much? Well, it says he loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son. Jesus Christ was God's answer to all the ills of the world. Mankind had created a world with all kinds of trouble and tribulation and evil. And so God said, you know what? I'm going to send the very best that I have. I'm going to send my son, Jesus Christ. And then it goes on to say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. This is God's gift to us today. You say, has God given me something? Yes, he has. He has given you that wonderful and marvelous son, Jesus Christ. That whosoever believes in him, and I'm not just talking about mental Let's send here. Lots of people believe. Oh, yeah, I've heard about Jesus Christ. I had a conversation yesterday with someone who said, Well, yeah, I, I've heard about Jesus Christ and, and I believe in him. You know, I, I'm not about ready to put my trust in him. And that's really what belief is really all about putting your trust in Jesus Christ. That this wonderful gift of salvation has been given to you. And then what you need to do is you need to receive it. You see, belief is not just mental assent, but it's all. Also, taking it in your hand or in your life and accepting the gift. You know, recently someone walked up to me and said, here is a check. And this check is for a certain amount of money. Now, folks, I looked at that check for just a moment, and then I took it in my hand. Then I did something else. I went down to the bank, put it in the bank, and cashed the check. That's literally what you are doing when you give your life to Jesus Christ. You are cashing the check. You are not only receiving it, but you are actually applying it to the bank account of eternity. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish. Now, folks, that's not great to know that you're not going to perish. You are going to have eternal life. And I love what it says in John 10.10, 10, that Jesus came to give us life, and not only to give it to us life, but abundantly. I'm looking forward to that abundant life. In fact, I, one of my favorite scriptures is Ephesians 3.20. It says that God will do exceedingly abundantly beyond what I'm able to ask or even imagine. All of this was all premeditated and all precipitated because of God's love. You see, we need to understand how much God really loves us. He loved us so much that he gave us the best gift of all. And you and I, what we need to do today is simply receive it. Don't sit there with a kind of a cynical eye and say, I don't know if I really want to receive this thing. No. Receive it with open arms. Receive it today because God wants to take your life right now and make you into what He has always designed you to be. He's got a plan. He's got a purpose. He's got a destiny for your life. And what you need to do right now is say, yeah, I'm going to receive that. I'm going to put it in the bank of eternity and I am going to go from this moment forward in the Lord. And I'm going to serve him, and I'm going to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto me. And that's where the reality of John 3.16 really comes into. When you not only believe, not only do you receive, but you walk in that victory today. What a great thought. AM 930 The Light is Edmonton's Positive Talk.